So the next thing that I want to focus on is the Z-axis. I bought one from AliExpress that was really small. It's, uh, what is this? It's 135 millimeters, which obviously is not going to work for what I'm building. So I'm going to be upgrading the couple of components that limit the length. And mine is going to be uh, 290 millimeters. So I'm going to assemble that bad boy right now. Uh, you know what, I should have put the stepper motor on first. Now it's going to be difficult. Well, I'm taking that off and I'm going to put the stepper motor on. Almost. Voila. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Just mix it. Probably easier like that. Go. All right, we gotta mount the 
block that holds the motor mount on. That's weird. Is it centered? It's crooked as hell. Here we go. Well, I don't like how much play is in there. That can cause problems later on. watts. Hope this works out good. Definitely need to upgrade the spindle again. Not the spindle, the, the axis. It's got way too much play. This is not work. This is not gonna work. Guess I'll go with linear rail. And why not put linear rail on all the other stuff, right? All right, I'm gonna have to do some thinking here before we can continue. All right, so uh, a day has passed, and this is what I came up with to fix the wobbly z-axis that I had. So I had some of these linear rails laying around. I cut them down, and I attached them to the sides of the 2060. And then I made these aluminum brackets that tie the, uh, the bearing block into the motor mount. So this is all nice and rock solid. Now I can't budge it. I'm zoom in a little, you can see it better. Yeah. So, you can see I had a rabbit on each end. I got some M4s into the sides, M5s on the top, and the M3s that hold it to the bearing block. So, I'm just going to put the motor housing on and attach it to the uh, rest of the machine. put the spindle back in and pick up from where we left off. Easy peasy. Dirty. What is that? Oh, that's this thing. Alright, All right, so it's been a few weeks since I worked on this. 
actually had trouble with the Jinmitsu controller. It couldn't power the steppers that I have, and there's no way to change the driver. So I wound up putting in a, uh, I just went with an Arduino Uno and a CNC shield. And I'll, I'll show you that in a second. But I got everything put together and I'm set up here and I'm about to make a spoil board. So I'm going to put some threaded inserts, flip it over, surface it, and then put some grid lines on it. So uh, I'll video that. Uh, overall, I think the build came out good. I mean, it's solid. It has very little play in it. Everything is done with the linear rail and block. Uh, all the aluminum is screwed together nice and tight. The uh, high capacity stepper motors run well. I made a little box here. Just kind of slapped together out of scrap wood. I can open it. It has my power supplies in it. The the big one is for the spindle, which is oddly it's a zero to a hundred volts. It's a Mach 3 power supply, it's called. I got it from my sweetie. Works really nice. I'm able to control the spindle speed through software. And this power supply here is for the shield itself. Let's go around here. So, what I got going, let's see, let's zoom a bit. What I got going on in here, this is the, the, the Uno with the CNC shield. I got the updated drivers on there, the DVR ones. And this here, this little module takes the TTL or pulse width modulation from here and converts it to a voltage between zero and 10 volts. This little potentiometer here. Um, allows you to adjust what the the maximum voltage is so I have it set for 10 volts which is what my power supply is expecting so with that it, I'm able to control the spindle through software which is very nice um, got caught up here I wound up taking the limit switches I had six limit switches two on each axis and they worked for a little bit and then they just stopped working every time I put the machine on it would go into a fault so I don't know what's up with that I just took them off I don't really need them anyway this is only going to be a, a stepping stone machine built this one so that I can build the big one that I want because I need this to machine the aluminum parts so uh, yeah that's the state of it I'll take some video of the spoil board being made and I'll seam it all together Oh, it's got a nice little, an old laptop fan. Put that in. Like so. Yeah, so that's it. Came out pretty good.